Yum, yum. William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to version two of the Pushing Points Mop Booleans kit for Moto. The Mop Booleans kit is an add-on designed to remove the challenges of working with complex Boolean operations with a non-destructive workflow that makes creating highly detailed meshes a trivial task. For those that have been using earlier versions of Mop Booleans, it's important to know that the workflow you're familiar with is still available, allowing you to work the way you always have. If you're new to Mop Booleans, be sure to take advantage of the collection of videos that cover every aspect of the earlier workflow. Version two of the kit introduces an entirely new workflow that provides the same power of Mop Booleans without the use of Pi menus or keyboard shortcuts for the core actions of the kit. Start by accessing the Mop Booleans tool palette from the Mop Boolean popover form or using the keyboard shortcut Alt plus M. This new form provides everything the previous workflow affords you and more. To start creating, select an item and click the new Mop Boolean build button at the top of the form. For this example, I'll use a simple polygonal cube mesh. This creates all the components to start building a Mop Boolean mesh item and moves the selected geometry to the base driver. Next, select another mesh item followed by the base driver mesh. For this example, I'll use this Catmull Clark Sub D mesh with edge weights. With the two meshes selected, click one of the Add to Driver options. You can add the selected mesh to the base driver, one of four subtract drivers, one of four intersect drivers, or one of four union drivers. For this example, I'll choose the Add to Subtract Driver option. All the meshes remain live, enabling you to continue editing them while seeing real-time feedback of the subtraction on the base mesh. You can disable the visibility of driver meshes for a single mop boolean build by selecting any item within that build and clicking the toggle driver visibility button. When working in a scene with multiple mop boolean builds, you can use the toggle driver visibility all option to control the visibility of all driver meshes, or use the reset driver visibility to enable visibility on all driver meshes. The new workflow also includes several useful utilities. Let's take a look. The new mesh item option creates a new mesh item at the top of the item list and can be used to create new components for your build. The rename option enables you to quickly select and rename the mop boolean root group locator. To use, select any item within the mop build and run the command. To use the remove option, select any item within the mop build or any polygons within a driver and run the command. The mesh will be relocated outside of the mop boolean build. Using the freeze option, a new mesh will be created and the mop boolean's build's visibility will be disabled. To use, select any item within the mop build and run the command. If you use the toggle mop build block, the mop build's mesh item's lock attribute will be toggled on and off. To use, select any item within the mop build and run the command. The randomize bool build color option will change the color of the main mop boolean assembly in the item list. To use, select any item within the mop build and run the command. Use the defer mop evaluation option to defer the evaluations of all mop boolean operations in the scene. This can be useful to speed up editing dense or complex mop boolean assets. There are also several selection options included in the kit. The first row enables you to select any of the driver mesh items in a build. To use, select any item within the mop build and run the command. The corresponding item will be selected. You can select the mop build item easily by selecting any of the driver items and clicking the lower left button. Use the select driver material to select the material that is assigned to the driver meshes. This enables you to quickly edit the appearance of the driver meshes on a per mop build basis. Experiment with these options to gain full control of this powerful workflow inside of Moto.